been a long journey, but J.T. Stone is finally a head football coach. This morning, as KEYT.com first reported, Santa Barbara High School named Stone as their interim head coach, replacing Doug Cage, who was dismissed last Friday. The 37-year-old Stone is no stranger in the Santa Barbara area. He was a record-setting quarterback at Dos Pueblos High School in the mid-1990s. He then set the single-season record for yards passing at Santa Barbara City College. That was in 1995 with over 3,000 yards. He went on to graduate from West Texas A&M. He has coached at-risk youth at the Goleta Boys and Girls Club. He's been an assistant coach at St. Joseph and Rigetti High Schools in Santa Maria. He joined the Don staff about six months ago, and now he gets his first crack at being a head coach. It's a dream come true for Stone, who's been instructed to bring back discipline to the program. I think anybody who, who coaches football and is passionate about kids, to be able to coach in, in your own hometown at a high school with a tradition like Santa Barbara High School, this is, this is a, pretty much a dream come true. I felt that the boys really connected with, uh, with Coach Stone, and for that reason, I, I, I think this is an opportunity for him to uh, see what he can do. Discipline is, is pretty much a way of life, and, and we have to have to get back to that. Santa Barbara returns to the practice field on August 4th, and their first regular season game is August 29th at home against Oxnard. Easily the best basketball player in the 805 area code for quite some time, Rigetti's Cameron Walker has verbally committed to Stanford. The 6'7 swingman who's entering his senior season at Rigetti chose the Cardinal over UCLA, San Diego State, Florida, and several other top schools. Walker announced the decision on his Twitter page saying, quote, by far the hardest decision of my life, but I will spend the next chapter of my life at Stanford University under Coach Dawkins, end quote. The Dodgers' Josh Beckett has been terrific this season, but tonight he was serving up meatballs in Pittsburgh. Beckett returning to the mound following a hip injury earlier this month. Talented rookie Gregory Polanco hits one of three Pirates homers off of Beckett, who lasted less than four innings. Dodgers flexing their muscles as well, though. They hit two home runs. Adrian Gonzalez is 15th of the year. The Dodgers were down 8-7, but Pittsburgh scored four times in the bottom of the eighth. All runs charge of Chris Perez. They lose a slugfest in the Steel City, 12-7. San Francisco moves into first place past the Dodgers in the NL West. Buster Posey takes Philadelphia's Jonathan Papelbon over the wall in the ninth inning. The solo shot ties it at five. Stayed that way until the top of the 14th inning. With the sacks packed, Brandon Crawford clears the bases with this double. The Giants go on to win 9-6 in 14 innings. Starter Tim Lincecum got the save, by the way. They lead the Dodgers by a game. On the day that the Padres trade Chase Headley to the Yankees for two young players, San Diego shut out by the Cubs 6 to nothing. Two straight losses now for the Angels at home against Baltimore. Jonathan Scope powers a two-run over to left center off of Mike Morin. Angels lose 4-2. Mike Trout homered in the eighth for the Halos. Oakland loses to Houston 3-2 in 12 innings. Summer baseball, the Foresters beat up the San Luis Obispo Blues 10-3. That sports will be right.